Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you to Omori, or Omori, or however the hell you say this, because I cannot pronounce words properly. From what I've heard, this is going to be quite a psychological experience, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what it has to offer, shall we? Don't worry. That is the first thing that some people will do if you tell them not to worry. Everything is going to be okay. I am very doubtful of that right now. Oh, What's going on? No matter what happens... No matter what happens, promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Aww. Two best friends. Promise me. I heard this game is very much like Undertale, so I'm not sure if there's like an entire pacifist route available. I know there's multiple different endings. So tell me in the comments down below if you want to see me try and do every ending. Welcome to White Space. Looks nice. Hello. You have been living here uh, for as long as you can remember. And how long is that? Because that sounds like a long time. And now there's a line forming. Is that the line showing us the differences between between our lives, the mirror world and the real world? Oh no, it's just uh, the light string. Huh. Okay. Meow. Oh! W meow, waiting for something to happen. Maybe. Tissues. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Wow, that's blatant. That's blatant. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Sure. Alright, that's some inter artistic interpretation. Huh. You know, you're not that bad at drawing. You're certainly better than I ever could do. Yes, even with that weird scribble right there. That's still better than anything I can draw. Oh, God. Okay. What about this? TV? You booted up your laptop. Oh, I have a laptop, do I? What would you like to do? Open your journal. Alright, Imori's journal. So we're Imori. Today, today I spent time in white space. Everything is okay. Today I spent time in white space. Everything is okay. Blah, 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 blah. Today I visited my friends. Everything was okay. Friends, okay. White space, okay. Friends, okay. White space, okay. Friends, okay. White space, friends, okay. White space, okay. You're very creative with your journal. Stare at the screen. What happens if I stare at the screen? You've stared at the screen. What would you like to do? You know what? Keep staring at the screen. Maybe something is going to happen. This is kind of just show- is this, this- is this just a tell on modern life in how that each one of us is constantly staring at a screen all day. No matter what is on the screen, we are there looking, always looking, never knowing what is going to happen. Well, we know what's going to ha why am I talking? Well, let's turn off the laptop. The heat from your lap- the heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. The hell was that? Something fell nearby. A knife! A knife fell! A light bulb hangs from the ceiling, wherever it is. Look into the light bulb. Pretty, pretty light. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. Well, I mean, everything seems to be black and white, so... What happens if I... 
What the bloody hell in Christ was that? How far in this white space can I go? Out of interest. Did I just make a complete circle? I did make a complete circle. You got a shiny knife. As long as it's shiny, I suppose. That's what matters. What's the door? A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Do nothing. You stared at the door. Keep an eye out for the hands. So white space is endless and repeating. What happens if I let the hand touch me now that I've got the knife? Absolutely nothing. Hey, hand! Okay, so it has eyes as well. In the, in the front of its hand as well, I suppose. Alright, let's go through the door. What happens? Into the white... Out of the white space we leave. Where do we go? Well, that's a world. Ooh, interesting. Or, or, Aub Aubrey. Hi, Amori. We're going. We were hoping you'd come by so soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Oh man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning too. Hey Kel, there's no need to be there's no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that hero. You only say that because you were losing. Interesting how the icon is black and white. Huh. I also love how there's a sound effect of me walking on the egg. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. Just casually a tentacle is there. Is it? You got a stuffed toy. Aha. This is... There's a lot of interesting thing here. Sad poem. Inflict sad on friend or foe. Guard. Axe first. Reducing damage for one turn. Ha. Huh. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking along railroad tracks. I know that movie. Can't remember what it's called, but I know of the movie. A baseball and a baseball bat. A blender. A neatly wrapped present. A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. Absolutely nothing creepy about that. Would you like to make toast? Yes! You made toast. A photo of someone familiar. And that's all you have to say. Familiar. Not going to tell us how it's familiar. A single bean on a plate. This is all extremely weird right now. Why is Kel so mean to me? You know, the other day that good for nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Would you like to... Do, would, why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Amori? Pretty, pretty, please? I mean, I already have. What's up, Amori? We've been waiting for you. Kel and Audrey have been fighting a lot again. You'd think they'd get tired of it after a while, but they're just so... They're, they're both just so full of energy. Hey, Amori, look what I found the other day. It's a pet rock. Isn't it awesome? A tiny pet rock stares at you from inside Kel's pocket. I'm gonna name him Hector! Not a bad name. Not a bad name indeed. Hector is the coolest pet rock ever! Well, I find it interesting how I'm still in black and white. Your friends are waiting for you. Well, here's your stuffed toy. Is that? Could it be? Audrey, Aubrey snapped, snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Kel! Look, it's my stuffed toy! 
What the heck? Where did you get that? Amori found it. Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one who was making me, making f fun of me for the mole on my, on your, what? Okay, this is kind of just cute of kids. Aubrey. Fine. Thank you, Amori. I knew I could count on you. You're the best. Man. Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hey, Amori. Hey, Amori. I'm glad it's all settled. Those two are always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. Do you want to go see them? Sure. All right, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Basil. And uh, now I have a team. Well, um, I still find it funny how they're all in color and we are not. So what are the stats? Heart, juice, attack, defense, speed, luck, hit. Right. You have no defense, speed, or luck, do you, Aubrey? You've got a lot of luck, Kale. Kel. I don't know why I'm calling you Kale. And then you've got, pro I think, the best de defense hero. So... Alright, let's, I assume, go up here. Tss, going out, Imori. Tss, here is your allowance for today. You got 50 clams. Waiting for something to happen? Oh my god, I just realized the cat's eyes follow me. How? No! No, not okay. Don't be creepy like that. Stop it. I'm leaving. Goodbye, cat. Oh yeah! Fresh air at last! Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go! Wait a sec! Help me guys, I'm stuck! Only if you say please! Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here! Okay, okay, fine. Hmm. Took you long enough! Well, sorry, princess. So we live in a stump in the ground, is what you're telling me. Where the heck are we going? This sounds like the beach. It is the beach. What the bloody ever-loving good Jesus Christ in hell was that? You are afraid of drowning. Do you know what? That is a very apt fear. Do you want to build sandcastles with your friends? No, we're meant to be going to the to the park. So we're going to ignore whatever the hell we just saw. I f Why are we still... A what is with the black and white? Black and white has to have some form of meaning behind things. Doesn't it? What's with the giant plant over there as well? Oh wait, there's a couple of them lying around. It's nothing special. But this rock might be. It is not. Well, we seem to have good friends at the moment, but... I don't want to walk into the spider web. I don't want to walk into the spider web. All right, we were pointing south, but what lies in the e west east in direction? A windmill, a big windmill, a lot of windmills. Um, some sort of bridge thing here. You are afraid of heights. That is fair. Imori, I'm going to guess you have a lot of fears, and part of this game is going to be overcoming them, isn't it? 
I also swear someone's gonna tell me in the chat how to say your name properly, and just like, and I'm never gonna get it right. What the ever-loving Christing hell are these things? Okay, at least those two people look normal. Huh. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like... Monsters seem, like, apt within the people. Society. So that's... Mari! Basil! Basil! I got all of you. Ha oh, hi, Aubrey. Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Kel Kel's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Oh, no, not again. How could he? How could he? Puss, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's being all whiny. Well, Ke well, Kel, you've just made a very convincing point. But I don't know who to believe. Believe me! No, believe me! Uh, settle down, settle down, you two. What does it always have to be like this? Chin up, hero. Look at you. You're being all responsible. I really like that about you, hee <laughs> hee. Ooh, that, those eyes there. Ooh, ooh, she has got the eyes for hero. Come on, Mari. Not now. Ha oh, hero. You know, oh, hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we while we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through the through his photo album. Did you want to join us? Of course. After all, we're the ones in the photo in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, get a load of this. Uh. Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Sorry, Kel. I I only take a picture. I need to get- it's very hard to do independent voices for everyone. Sorry, Kel, I only take p photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take po photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are moments I want to capture. So, like... We just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can put it, put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Did you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Ah, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here. Here. This way you all we can all see. Okay. Ooh, so there is actually pictures of Imori, who is actually black and white. Huh. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Imori and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. What's this? Imori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. <laughs> I'm guessing Basil's still wearing wearing the crown then. I'm guessing that's Hero. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his persistence. Ah, watermelon. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Oh, what good friends! Kel is dr Kel Kel drinking a bottle of milk. It, his favorite. I shouldn't get too close, or he might get my camera wet. Mari and Hero take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. You know what? It does with your green hair. Is Hero trying to kiss Kel or Hero leaning in for a smooch? Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. I'm, uh, the fact I can already guess who the characters are. 
And that there is everyone. But Imori isn't smiling. Why is Imori not smiling? We're having a picnic today. Mori wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Aw, oh, but there he is sleeping. After eating, everyone fell asleep, except Hiro and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kel said he took a picture of himself but on accident, but I don't believe him. <laughs> All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are those? They're really... Really trying to make sure Imori just stands out from everyone, aren't they? Huh. These photo- these photos are rip- are so- all so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't- I didn't take them- I didn't take all of them, though. Mori likes to steal my cameras sometimes. Oh, only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come hang out at my house? I just fi finished painting, pe planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds, that sounds fun. Let's go. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. I'll sit this one out. You all go and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling wary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. You can even save using my picnic basket. Aw, oh, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again soon. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. Ah. Oh. So that's how we save, is it? Ah yes, some nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? Sure. You and your friends feel like new. Well, let's just save the game. Just to... I'm going to guess our picture changes over time. Like... If that's currently our picture, is it possible for the characters to just get slowly gain smiles or frowns, depending on everything? Well, I guess we should talk to everyone. No boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. As in, like, attack bosses? I'm going to swing to the moon! I'm guessing you have a quest, considering you've got that icon above your head. Burly walk, talk so fast when she's excited. It it gets it gets really hard to keep up. Hey, Amori, guess what? I got some plans today, big plans. Just stay put. Just stay put for a, a while. You'll see I, what I mean soon enough. Hey, just wait one second. Where do you think you're going? To talk around the park? You can't leave without joi joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You got you want to play hide and seek again? But you know how this turned out last time. Yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think I'm gonna have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now. So we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast! You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? R my rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that moron is up to now. Probably we're gonna probably preparing for a fight because he's a boss battle. Eh, good riddance. So you want to play hide and seek, Basil? I can, I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Imori. What do you want to do? My best friend! Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? Uh, sure. You know what? Sure. 
<laughs> That's what I thought! What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play! I'll round everyone up! Ten hut! Alright, Baggins, here's the rules! We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek! Here in my hands, I've got straws, you see? Everyone here, here's gotta pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is gonna be it, and we'll have to find and we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? That's gonna be me, isn't it? I'm gonna be the one who has to find everyone. I can already tell. We all got our straws? Good! Now let's see who's gonna be it! Well, well, well! Looks like the one with the sword sh shortest straw is... Imori! Yeah. I guessed. Oh wait, Imori is it? But Imori doesn't like to be alone. Are you gonna be okay, Imori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, hey! Hey, I hear you plotting over there! The straws make the rules, not me! Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad, Imori will be fine! When you're ready to play, walk up to the tether ball and close your eyes. No peeking or else. What's this thing? Hey, where do you think you're running off to? Get back here! Okay, fine. Five, four, three, two, one! Begin the hunt! Whoa, you found me! Now I can help you find everyone! Just don't tell Bur Burly about this, got it? <laughs> Alright, here we got this guy. Turns out there's not places, many places for to hide for a guy my size. But if this was still fun, as long as Burly is happy, I'm happy. Nose goes! Shh, if you're too loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes, bun goes! Be, uh, be quiet, Nose, we're hiding, remember? Darn, you found me. I guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. Well, let's go talk to these guys then. Aha! We found you, Bun and Nose! Nose, they found us! Nose goes! Oh, no. oh you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. Hmm. There's gotta be some people hiding. You we found. Aha! Audrey! Ah, oh, you found me! Done! Hehe! <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, Imori. Huh? Where am I? Huh? I was dreaming that I was on a private beach with servants fi fanning me with palm leaves on every side. When suddenly, wham! And here I am now. I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's game over for me. Ah! All right. Charlene. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, hey guys. Uh, you know, uh, I found a really good hiding spot, but uh, Sean and Ren uh, invited me to join them in their uh, exercise routine. It's fun and good for you. You guys should really try this. Uh, it's uh, really uh, a workout. Oh man, I'm uh, so tired. Wow. You really don't say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Oh, come on, Hero. We gotta help Imori and find everyone else. All right, all right. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's do it again sometime. See ya, Hero. Well. Eternal Banana. What makes it so eternal? Is someone in the music box? me that so that means I gotta do something else now oh I know I'm gonna count the alphabet backwards Z Y X W V U O M um O I'm 
I'm glad we didn't have to sit through the entire alphabet. A bunch of small toy cars. A very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. Oh, that is actually quite difficult, isn't it? Ah! So, I'm... Ooh, who are you? There's a straw in the ground. Pull it. Hook. <laughs> Took you guys long enough. I thought I was going to suffocate in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? It looks like you found pretty much everyone else, too. Unexpected, but I like it. Let's do a final call. Ten huts! Van! Here is always... Here is always, buddy. Charlie! Here... Mikhail! Ah, oh, what gives? Happy! <laughs> Browse! Ah! Bangs! Here. Yeah. Bun! Bun is here! Nose! Nose goes! Hero! Present! Kel! Yawn! You really gotta do this every time, Burly? Hey, that was uncalled for. Aubrey! I am here. Huh? Where's Basil? That's strange. I thought I saw him hiding near the tree over there. Basil, where'd you go? Can you hear us? Basil! You can come out now. You already won. Hello, Basil! Uh... Hey, there's Basil! Oh, hey, there's Basil! Basil, are you Basil, are you okay? Uh, are you stuck? <laughs> Boss, I should have known it was you. You good for nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did it? Yeah, what did ever Basil ever do to you? Basil is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek. I'm the one who showed you how all how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? What? My, my flower crown! My flower crown! Hey, that's that's the flower crown we made for Basil! How could you? Let go of him, you bully! No! If I can't play with everyone, then no one can! This is a boss-only zone now! And you're not invited! Um... Oh, so we're in a fight now. You know what? Um... I don't know how to do this. Let's inflict sad on him. Aubrey, what can you do? Pep talk. Make a friend or foe happy. Let's have you make Amori happy. Kel, what can you do? Annoy. Make an anger foe or at opponent angry. I'm not sure how this all works. Heals a friend for 75% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle. Cost 10. Amori reads a salt opponent. opponent. Boss is now sad. Imori feels happy. Oh, look at me! I feel so ha happy! Boss cracks his knuckle. Alright, what happens if I inflict him with sad again? Pep talk. Let's make Kel happy. And then those two can attack. What happens? Boss can't get sadder. Uh, 
You weaklings! You call that an attack? Boss cracks his knuckles. Um, I'm not sure if I should just be attacking people. Alright, let's just attack and see what happens. Does Kel, like, shoot fireballs or something? Huh. Boss cracks his knuckles. I'm not entirely sure what I should be doing, you know? Because... Hey, that kind of hurt. Hmm. This isn't fun anymore. I... I... You haven't done a thing to us. I'm not sure what I should be doing. If everyone guards, what happens? Boss cracks his knuckles. You know what? Screw it. Let's just finish this. Mori attacks the boss. Grr. Now you've made me angry. It's time for my special move. Body slam! They become toast. Imori did not succumb. Huh? How are you still moving? Wait, when we die, they turn to toast. Is that what you're telling me? That is hilarious, they become toast. Okay. Imori, attack. What happens? Imori's party was victorious. You gained 32 experience and 22 clans. Pop. This isn't fair! Rematch! Uh, rematch! I want a rematch! Basil, are you hurt? Ah, don't ah, don't- ah, don't worry about me. I'm do- I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Huh! I know that! There. Does that feel better? Puzzle, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Imori held on during that final attack, or we'd all ha or, uh, or else we'd all have been toast. It's okay. It's okay. I trust him. I, that is, uh, the deep voice does not suit Basil, but I'm continuing with it. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Boom. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one else is welcome here. Why was there a cat sound then? Well, he probably won't be a lot of problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's home house now. That's a that sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. I wonder what would have happened if we found Boss and Basil. So, oh, everyone's on full health again. And only I level got any experience to level up. Well, let's see what's going on. Hello, friends. Hi. Oh, you've got a quest. What's going on here? I want to give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice a flower puzzle. Huh. The hell? Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Please, welcome to my shop. Please buy something. <laughs> Candy, restore 30 hard. Juice, heals 25 juice. Jax, deals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. It's not what you wanted, inflicts anger on, on a friend or foe. Ha, huh. 
I'll have you know I don't I don't appreciate window shoppers. Well, I didn't realize you were a shop, so. So, what? Can I actually interact with boss now? Nope. Yes, I mean, yes, but. Yeah. I like puzzles. Uh, so, I need to figure out a flower puzzle. What would classify as a flower puzzle? Huh. Wait a Mori, we're supposed to go to my house. It's just past the south. I just finished planting sprouts for everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Okay, sure, let's just go south then. I can go back, so... Let's see. Train station, pinwheel forest, Basil's house. You're not gonna let me go to other places, are you? Fine, fine, we'll go straight to your house. Aw, doesn't this look nice? These are flood sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Oh, that's nice. Well... What about these? What are these, Basil? These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. You're all good friends, it sounds. Whoa, whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kale? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become v dangerously vicious when they're when they are lost. Mr. Sprout Mole, please stop that! You're stomping all over the flowers. Well. Oh, it looks like this, this, it looks like this Sprout Mole is angry. Like us, Sprout Moles can feel emotions. Since this Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is it's now the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori, let's do this. What happens if I run? You know what, I've killed one thing. Let's see what happens if I kill this one too. Lost Sprout Mole feels sad. Aww. I don't... I don't know if I... It doesn't seem like there's like a... What am I calling? Let's make the... Let's make the little thing happy. What happens if I make it happy? Audrey pitches on the Sprout Mole. It feels happy. I don't... Okay, so emotions seem to play an important part in this game. If they're sad, they don't attack. Is what I can tell. The party is victorious. You gain 18 XP and 4 clams. It more grew to level 2. Ah... Most of, most of the flowers are unharmed. That, that's a relief. Hey, Amori. Now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you a foes facts journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it, check it out through, check it out through your pockets in the player menu by pressing O. Okay. So, let's see what the, a dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature, it says it is smart, but do not believe it, it is not, it smells like dirty laundry, Amori. Do I have something about boss, considering I found boss? Yes, I do, Jesus Christ, how many attacks are there? A little rough around the end edges, can be a foe, or a friend. Aww. I need to stop worrying about what ending I might get and just play. Because I don't know anything about this game. Absolutely nothing. I just need to play. These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Blue roses symbolize admiration. 
ro ro orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow si roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all the roses, because he's versatile and universally loved. Ah. What's this? This looks like a foxglove. Ah! The, the, these type of flower are called gladius. The gladi what? Gladius! Also known as the flower sword. You mu as you might guess, they represent the strength of a character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. Gladius reminds me of Aubrey because she is always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is Aubrey is... Aub is, it, is that Aubrey is really stubborn? Hey, no I'm not! Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's move on. Oh no, it's another one. Oh no, not again! Please, Mr. Sprout Mold, stop twirling! You're destroying all of the flowers! I love how it, I love how they do exactly what you ask them to stop. Oh, I see. This sprout is hot mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. Oh! So you're just telling me what each of the attacks do now. So crit lowers your hit. So happy you hit lowers your hit, but makes you more likely to crit. I'm sure we're gonna find out what sad does in a moment. Imori's party was victorious. Good. I'm glad. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. So it's a triangle. It's a triangle effect. That's important to remember. So if I'm happy, I need to make them angry. And if they're angry, and I need to make us angry when I make them sad, and make us sad if they're happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. You've got an emotion chart. Do you want to look at the emotion chart now? Yes, please. Okay, this is good to know. Happy, increased luck, increased speed, reduced hit rate. It is strong versus angry. It does more damage versus angry people. Angry, increased attack, lower defense. Strong versus sad. Sad, increased defense, lowered, lowered speed. Okay. Some damage to heart to ju and juice. Oh, so if they're sad, they do... They take damage to their juice as well. So that's why he was taking juice damage, because they were sad. Right. Okay. Ha. Huh. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure what relevance... How... I'm not sure the best tactic yet. I should say. What is this? A cactus? Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, actually, Kale, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny you ask, because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? <laughs> hey! Well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much uh, to care and uh, can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. No kidding, there's someone in my Discord who has the title a Keeper of the Immortal Cactus as well. I guess what I'm saying is that uh, even you can take care of a cactus, Kale. Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome! And finally, we have a lily. Ah! These are white tulips. Uh, of course it's a tulip. Why didn't I see a tulip? Plain, simple, and bulbous. Like Imori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Well, 
Ah, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We've got the hang of this by now. Um, this sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in a fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage to but it'll also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. How sad! Let's put it out of its misery! Right. So that means I need you to make me angry, Kale. So that we take so we deal more damage. Imori feels angry. That's a really good and not angry face. Let's just see what happens. Wow, you took a lot of damage then. The triangle system. It's always good to have a triangle system. Good to know it at least. Imori's party was victorious. Aubrey grew to level 2. Kale grew to level 2. Two. Hero grew to level 2 and learned massage. Hero's the healer. Clearly. I get the feeling. Massage. Remove removes a friend or foe's emotion. Okay. So that's fix the emotion. I see. Okay. Hi everyone! You ju you all just kept you all j came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up. I even brought some fruit. You are most definitely the healing spot. Ah, yes, some delicious fruits. Let's eat some. Uh, I assume that's a full heal? You and your friends feel like new. Munch, 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 munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Oh, Amari, I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems like that way from the outside. Either way, you seem to, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Amari is so effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Amari? Yeah, I do. Aww. I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Well. What's going to happen down here? What's going on? Um. Oh, hi there. Hi there, boss but creature. I was about to say, what will Amorian friends do? Um... Ye old Sprout. Okay. So... I can't tell what emotion it is right now. So let's just slice the damn thing and see what happens. Ye old Sprout! You are not going to survive this day. Oh, it's got a lot of health. Alright, what... Do I want to make us sad? So... That we take less damage. Wow, Imori has the least amount of health. If I make us sad, I can make it happy. And then we can just attack it. Imori feels sad. Poor Imori. Wait, what's going on? There's a cutscene now. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. Don't worry, we can do this if we work together. It looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. Let's get him this time. You notice anything different, Amori? Yeah, the big giant bar that's at the bottom of the screen. 
you should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you will see. You know what? Fine, we'll, we'll just attack. Uh... Okay, that's a lot of extra things I saw there. Ah. Oh. Did you see the, the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow when you see that happen. Okay. Trick. What happens if I trick? The sprout speed fell. Pass to Audrey. Aubrey knocks the, the, it out of the park. Oh, okay, there's also energy takes a few limited actions. Also, we, phew, man, this guy is really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice our enemy energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to come back. Okay. So, Imori can just attack twice, from the looks of it. Let's see what happens when I use one of the other characters' mechanics, though. Nice! We're full of energy! This is a perfect time to use our special attack. Imori, after you attack, press every- press whatever to release energy. I hope you're ready! Come on, everyone, let's show this big guy what we're made of! Release energy. Release the energy! Friends, come together for an ultimate attack! Swip, swip! Wow, that was a lot of damage then. We gained 150 XP and 50 claps. Imori grew to level 3 and learned stab. 3, 3, 3. Why am I learning all these violent moves? And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure that we, as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you gu Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Uh, that was nothing, hehe. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, you know you're not the type that likes to fight. But it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can study together sometime. I'll give it to Imori to hold on to for now. You've got self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide. So be sure to check it out every now and then. Imori, Imori, you should know. When we gain XP and level up, sometimes we also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wider range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. When you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it in the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. Well, um, I'm gonna go back to the safe spot and save it. Well, everyone, I think that's a good place to end it for a first episode. So let me all know what you think. How... I don't know what the, where we're gonna go with this, because this is supposedly a psychological horror. And after the thing we saw on the beach, who knows what the hell is gonna happen. So, everyone, it looks like, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today. I've been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that, until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell. Good day, and finally, good night.